Are we here? We are, and we are live in the park getting set up. Sorry, having one of those hair days. Okay, how is everybody doing? Happy Thoughtful Thursday! Hear all the kitties playing and everything. Oh, love it, love it, love it. We are near the end of summer. I always say, hey, after my birthday, it's always like, then, you know, the change of seasons began. That's what I always say. So knowing that and considering that, um, I decided to come out and enjoy the beautiful weather, the sunshine, while we still can. You know, it's important that we do that. Get the real vitamin D in our bones, you know, while we can, while we can enjoy it. Okay, so I know on Tuesday I was speaking to many of you. Sorry, let me just do this a little. Okay. So I was speaking about um, cleansing, right? The three week cleanse that we will be starting on Monday. So I just wanna discuss that today cause I think it's important um, that kind of, you know, everybody's on the same page. And again, this is if you choose to do it with me, it honestly, it's no sweat off my back. I don't, it doesn't really bother me at all. I don't care. Um, I'm actually, like I said, I'm doing it for myself. Um, and the reason why I decided to do this is, well, A, I always do seasonal cleanses. So one of the questions actually that, you know, I received before coming on here from one of my clients was, Keish, I want to do a cleanse, like, and I want to do it with you, but the thing is, when do you cleanse? Like, how do I know when to cleanse if I'm by myself or whatever the case is? That's a great question because I find that sometimes people, they may cleanse or detox at, at you know, not so good times in their lives or whatever, in different periods in their life seasons okay so rule of thumb for myself something that I've been doing for years now about seven years um it's all about seasonal cleansing okay so when I talk about seasonal always do it in the trans transition okay transition periods that's one of the best because then it's not too hot and it's not too cold never forget something when we cleanse when are we when we are detoxifying our bodies our temperature our natural normal body temperature will go down okay so never forget that so if you're cleansing in you know in winter guess what's gonna happen you're gonna get a lot colder and you're gonna be, become more susceptible to colds and flus okay um, because you're gonna obviously your temperature your body normal body temperature is going to drop and so you are in, rather than try rather than cleansing your body you're actually gonna be trying to stay warm okay um, and vice versa when it comes to summer as well, right? You may get really, really, really hot um, because you are releasing, remember you're releasing toxins, you're releasing a lot of garbage. I find that both ways I've just gotten cold. Um, and the reason why I know is because again, trial and error. I have tried actually cleansing my own bodies in summer as well as in winter and I got seriously sick. So I do not recommend that to anybody. Um, yeah, I would always recommend seasonal cleanses, okay? So um, fall into, fall into winter and then spring into summer okay those are the best time it's like it's like your car kind of thing tune up right when you take off your wheels change your tire sorry not your yeah your tires sorry when you're changing your tires same thing with your body okay see your body the exact same way okay let's get down to business so today we are going to speak about I want to just touch on, okay, because it's. I find it's important to understand the function of your liver to understand why. Why is it that we do the things that we do? Why is it that we cleanse? Who cares? So many people you hear, oh, you should do a cleanse, you should do this. You, yeah, many people will tell you you should do many, many things, right? Who cares? Here's my thing. Understand the reasons as to why, how it works for you and your body, and then from there you're able to assess, okay, and make um, a better what's what I'm for a better um, judgment for yourself a better call for yourself okay as to how you want to go about doing certain things okay so your liver and your gallbladder I'm gonna be touching on both because they actually play a role together I see them almost yes they're two various they're two different organs well one's a gland your liver's gland but um, they actually play a role together okay so I kind of see them together working hand in hand in tandem with each other so your liver is actually um, one of the heaviest glands in your body okay it's about three it's about three pounds yeah so imagine that oh my goodness <laughs> three pounds in my body and I'm speaking about an adult body right um, so okay it's the second largest organ as well okay besides your skin of course because your skin is one of the largest organs I'm sorry Woo, I am getting super duper hot here okay Woo, so much better all right so it's basically located here your liver okay on the right side and it's so big hi auntie snail Mwah. sending you love 
it's so big that it actually it sits here but it actually almost kind of like goes over to the left as well okay of your body so never forget that so your liver actually takes up like almost your whole body kind of thing okay um, so just keep that in mind knowing how big it is and how much more we would have to cleanse in terms of the toxins and all of that out of our body okay so um, now your gallbladder and I'm gonna show you something okay do you see these little balloons all right so this is your liver, this is your gallbladder. Your gallbladder actually sits a little bit behind, but I'm bringing it, I brought it a little bit forward. It's like kind of down and back, but I'm bringing it forward just so you can see, okay? Um, have a visual as to what it looks like, okay? Your gallbladder is actually, picture like a little sack. It's really a little sack and that's what it is, okay? And in this sack, it basically has um, things such as like, it holds bile, it stores something called bile, okay? And what, bile is bile is basically it helps to digest it's like an acid and it helps to digest I know <laughs> it's like Canadians saying sorry a lot we say sorry all the time <laughs> um, anyways sorry so see there we go um, so bile actually is stored in the gallbladder secreted in the liver okay so it stays in here and when time comes when it's ready for digestion when you have proteins all of that you know coming through into your body this little guy is going to basically pop up to the liver the liver is going to secrete that bile to help to break down okay to help for digestion uh, throughout your body okay to the large intestine all of that great stuff okay now why is this important this is important okay so your liver does basically over 500 processes per day okay so it maintains your blood sugar levels um it metabolizes your carbs okay it breaks down fats it breaks down it breaks down it breaks down proteins um it detoxifies substances such as alcohol okay so that's very very important um and of course it secretes like i said the bile to help break down fats your liver also it stores certain vitamins now this is where it's important too because i've had a few clients come to me and say keisha well you know the doctor told me i had a fatty liver kind of thing but i don't really eat fat you know and i don't eat sugars and i don't eat all these things it's not necessarily that you're not necessarily eating it per se okay we have to understand something it's the way our bodies are working and it's the way our bodies are able to metabolize so meaning break down certain things in which we are intaking okay from our various foods and our various food groups now your liver actually stores okay it's a storage house for vitamins a vitamin b12 vitamin d e and k these are fat soluble vitamins okay so if you can understand that guess what happens when you are intaking that particular vitamin i love doing pictures okay so you have a you have your e you have your d guess what's happening this bad boy is just sitting up in your liver okay and it's chilling it's just like, yay, we're gonna have a big party up in here. And guess what happens? When you are not cleaning and cleansing your liver, when you're not cleaning and cleansing or taking things to assist to cleanse the gallbladder and the liver, guess what happens? It gets stuck. So for instance, we drink alcohol, okay? We, our bodies are bombarded with, uh, let's say, environmental toxins, okay? All of these things, so these, it's actually it's it's a hockey tape i love hockey tape <laughs> but these black tapes are representative of basically what's happening in our cells in our actual organs all right so here we go and let's say you are intaking garbage foods additives whoops damn it <laughs> additives preservatives all that stuff guess what happens to our liver oh okay that's not coming off bam all right it becomes toxic and then what happens to our liver it gets bigger and bigger and bigger okay guess what happens to this little guy too our gallbladder because as we said our gallbladder and our liver work hand in hand okay our gallbladder stores the um, stores bile which helps to break down the fat and all this again which helps to break down this guy okay the things that are being stored in here this is helping to break it down guess what happens when this guy our gallbladder isn't working properly I hate this I'm sorry BAM see that no more gallbladder that's what happens 
a lot of people have their gallbladder removed, right? And then what ends up happening is it affects the liver. And why? Because now you no longer have a storage house to help you to break down any of the fats, the proteins, um, nor help for digestion. And then guess what happens in our tummy area? That's where you get that gas bloating. That's where you have, you know, as my clients call it, the muffin top, right? And you have almost like a distended stomach because you no longer have, and it's something called lecithin actually, which helps to break down fat. You no longer have that, okay? Because you don't have your storage house anymore of your gallbladder. So that's why it's so important to just keep it very, very healthy, your gallbladder and your liver. Also, something to keep in mind too, gallstones, 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 okay? We speak about this all the time and I want people to understand what gallstones are, okay? So if you have an insufficient amount of bile, okay, that is in your gallbladder so you have low bile again this is the acid to assist to break down the fats the proteins okay and you don't have enough here what ends up happening um and also if you don't have again like i said lecithin which helps to break down the fat or you have excessive cholesterol levels okay let's say they're high that ends up crystallizing okay in the gallbladder and it forms the little those little gallstones okay and that is that's an issue because it hurts right i don't know from personal experience i don't kind of don't want to know um but yeah so that's why it's very very important also something to keep in mind too when it comes to bile we are actually su supposed to be making anywhere between 800 to 1000 milliliters of bile per day that is a lot, a lot of bile, okay? That helps, like I said, to break down. To it, it basically aids digestion. That's really what it's for. So I can tell you now, probably the average person is probably not even getting like maybe even a cup a day of bile, okay? Or, or maybe even two cups. So it's so important that we get those juices flowing, right? The juices from the brain all the way down to our colon area, our liver, everything. Okay, okay, okay. So I want to get to juicy part because I was never good at science, but I hope you guys got that because <laughs> I love diagrams. I was always a diagram girl. So I hope that this helped again as we were speaking about the toxins, all of that um, in the liver, okay? It gets congested. Then what happens is your liver, you may end up, you know, as we say, like the fatty liver, things like that. Your liver may be almost get huge, okay? It, it's inflamed. It becomes inflamed. And what, what ends up happening there is it leads to other dis- this eases in the body so it's so important that we take care of that get rid of that inflammation we need to cleanse 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 okay so we're gonna put this bad boy away alrighty so let's speak about how to cleanse so like I said seasonally is recommended again you don't have to take my word for it but this is something that I do recommend um, as well as I do it myself so twice a year okay also so how are we how are we gonna cleanse Probiotics. Get yourself a good probiotic. Okay, highly recommend it. Um, at the end of any of this, if you want, to, if you need to PM me, DM me, anything like that, let me know if you want any kind of specific names as to things that I'm going to be using. By all means, okay, send me over, shoot me over a message. Uh, check out my website, all of that stuff. It's a good probiotic. Drink water. I want to see every drinking, drinking water. Actually, I need to drink some right now. Okay. Three to four liters per day of water keeps the colon rolling. You gotta flush that colon. It is great. It is great for everybody that we will be doing a cleanse slash flush on the liver and the gallbladder. However, if you are not assisting these organs to move things, move all that garbage out, it is just going to sit there and it's going to cake, 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 just basically just sit and get bigger and bigger and bigger and make your organs more inflamed okay because it has nowhere to go we want to excrete that and the way that we excrete it get rid of it out of the body is through a good liquid called h2o so get your water intake up if you don't like to drink water can't help you <laughs> no um seriously start small though okay honestly it's very very important that you are intaking more water in your diet um it is going to help to flush and i didn't say tea I didn't say, you know, the, what do you call that stuff? That vitamin water stuff? Water. Plain out water, okay? Water, water, water. Keep it flushing. Keep it going. So three to four liters per day for the next three weeks at least. I always say you should be drinking it uh, periodically. It doesn't matter. But 
at least while we're doing the flush okay that's a good starter it's a good start and again if you're not a water drinker everything is in just work your way up to things okay no one's saying you just have to jump on everything um even if this cleanse is too much for you do it for 10 days okay definitely contact me that's how i started i started doing it for 10 days and then i just gradually went more and more and more okay even up to three months anyways so that's another story take so there's going to be certain supplements and or herbs okay that i recommend now, when it comes to supplement and herbs, yet again, if you are pregnant, if you have any other ailments on medications, anything like that, please consult your physician before you do any of this, okay? Um, I am not here to tell you what to do. I am only here to guide you, okay? Uh, please, 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 whatever you do, like I said, consult a physician before you do any of this. If you do have any, if you're on any medications, pregnant, anything like that, because there can be contraindications with certain herbs and or supplements that we will be taking. So herbs and, and supplements that I will be taking will be milk thistle, um, dandelion, burdock root, excuse me, gentian root. I'll also be using something called shaga. Okay, you should really look that up. Shaga is actually from a mushroom and it's like the healing, the healing goddess mushroom kind of thing. It's absolutely amazing. I'll be drinking that as a tea. Um, it, again, if any information on any of this stuff is needed and you are in the Toronto area, let me know and I can definitely, you know, um, recommend certain places and things like that. Actually, you can just get everything from me. It doesn't matter. But anyways, feel free to contact me, okay? Now, to make my life easier, um, and for everybody else's life easier, when it comes to the whole dandelion root, all of that stuff, I actually will be taking that just in a capsule form, and it's just in a liver flush itself, okay? So, um, I'm actually taking the milk thistle on its own in a capsule, and then I will be taking the whole um, liver flush, which compiles of the dandelion root the burdock root the gentian root all that good stuff for your liver okay so I'm just keeping it simple rather than kind of getting everything singularly and taking it and taking it because it's a lot it can definitely get too much and it may get overwhelming for people even for myself okay let's keep it simple kiss method man that's what it's about um dry brushing dry brushing I know I've actually done a video on dry brushing so please check that out dry brushing is going to help for the lymph Let's get the lymph going. It's very, very important. Now, I want to bring up something um, that may be a touchy subject for a few people. Um, I even went through this even for myself and things like that, right? When you are going through this cleanse or, you know, detoxification process in your body, um, you may find that at times you may not smell also, you know, so fresh in your armpits and things like that. Please understand one thing. It has to come out. Understand that these are areas in your body that need healing okay and when I say healing it needs to rid of any toxins that are still sitting in your body um, any old garbage especially old blood yeah our liver is so important I forgot to mention that too our liver is so so important when it comes to our blood okay we talk about hemoglobin globin, something called hema sorry which is basically it's like um it's it's all about blood okay it's a production of blood which our liver supplies that as well so when your liver is congested guess what happens you have stagnant blood sitting there okay and it's like almost like it's festering and the, all the toxins is just sitting there and it smells it's almost like a rancid smell okay so we that's why it's so important too that we are cleaning our liver and our gallbladder if you've noticed if you've looked at some people i'm just gonna say like a little food for thought too right um, if you look at some people and their eyes, very, very important, right? I'm not talking about the color, okay? I'm talking about the sclerae. I, I can never pronounce that properly. I'm probably bastardizing it. Anyways, the damn white part, okay? In your eyes. Um, that should be white. It's white for a reason. It shouldn't be any other color, okay? If it is another color, we got some cleaning to do, okay? That's showing, and there's a term called jaundice. I know as babies and stuff like that, you know, babies get the jaundice stuff. It's not just in babies, man. It's as you get older too in adults, right? But it's no longer, we don't necessarily use that term anymore. Um, it's just basically the excess of toxins that are sitting there. It's actually the, um, the it's more so of the, like, uh, the Billy Rubin because that's giving off that yellowy, orangey tinge, okay? So it's actually the Billy Rubin which you're seeing. And that's supposed to be excreted through bile, through our, um, through our liver. So if your liver is not working properly, guess what's happening? 
the old blood, old circulation of blood and all of that is sitting there, okay? And so it is causing congestion and even all the way up to your face. So you can imagine your eyes and stuff like that. So, 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 so important. Please, people. Um, these are things that are close to my heart. I love it because it's all about taking care of thyself, okay? And as you can tell, and I'll be the first one to say, man, I got to stop and take care of myself too because if I can't take care of myself, I can't assist any one of you, alrighty? So throughout this, like I said, the dry brushing, um, taking the herbs, the supplements, okay? Probiotics, drinking your water. Massages, go and get a nice massage. We all need time to relax and to download and get back within ourselves, okay? Write down your goals for yourself too. That's very, very important. I have my goals going already for what I want to do and what I want to see happen within these three weeks. And think so big, okay? It doesn't just have to be even health goals. It could be any goals for your life. Where do you see yourself? How do you see yourself? What do you want? All of these things, write it down. Um exercise so i know a few of you saw my video this morning i was getting pumped man thank you big bro um for nominating me because that was a clear sign that i need to get off my hiney and get back and hit in the gym and stuff so i will also be um of course incorporating exercise this was actually a great way for me to you know start back again so doing some running um i, I love to run i used to run yoga as well i will be doing some yoga and mindful meditation of course you got to keep this clear okay clear the clear the gut heal the mind very very important okay if this is keeps going and you know you're not thinking straight you're not going to eat straight you're not going to absorb your foods accordingly okay and i want to come and say the most important the most important thing of course is food whole food nutrition okay how are we going to eat on this three-week cleanse so as i said we're starting monday monday september 19th if i'm not mistaken yes um so what we're gonna do is i have a nutrition it up meal service it's a cooked meal service for anybody who can't cook doesn't want to cook doesn't have time i will simplify your lives for the next three weeks we will have a set menu for everybody to look at contact me I will shoot it out to your emails okay and you will just place your order and what we will do I will it will be delivered on a weekly basis you can do it twice a week or you can have it delivered once a week it's all up to you doesn't matter and we, it's going to be clean clean eating so lots and lots of greens okay so let me show everybody I already started so lots and lots of greens we're going to use. Um, I know a lot of people right now are on that whole, not necessarily to say a no carb tip. It's not necessarily no carbs, but it's a low carb, more protein and veggies. That is great because we are going, to, I am going to create meals for people based on their specific goals based on their allergies and or food sensitivities okay so that's very very important as well as of course food combining is very very important so we are going to be considering all of that for the next three weeks okay so foods that we are going to be including so vegetables will include like the bell peppers the broccoli the burdock root the cabbage especially red cabbage so so good for you especially cleansing the blood we got to cleanse the blood okay ginger a lot of ginger root some garlic um tomatoes and eh, I have an, an issue with that because again the high acid so again everything is going to be in moderation in balance homeostasis okay butternut squashes we're getting into the squash season and things like that right um, what's the word Halloween's coming up and all that stuff so you know you're looking at the pumpkins the sweet potato the shallots the spinach all of that uh, grains for instance cooked grains buckwheat the quinoa's the rice brown rice we're gonna use wild rice all of that I will um, for the first week or so you'll see a, redu a reduction in the actual grains itself and we're gonna do more veggies and proteins okay using vegetarian source proteins as well as animal proteins and this is going to help to flesh the liver a lot faster okay while we're not congesting it so much with again putting in acid because guess what at the end of the day animal meat it's still acidic regardless okay so we're going to reduce that not saying that you're not going to have it because i'm definitely going to be eating that as well but again everything is going to be in balance okay in tandem with everything 
And of course, how you feel on a weekly basis is very, very, very important. Um, fruits. So we're going to go to fruits such as like dates. Uh, using some figs is great. Pomegranates. High levels of antioxidants. Use your berries at this time. Use your apples. Apples are great for digestion. Okay. Use things that are in season. Again, this is all about seasonal eating. That's how you know you're on the right track. Okay. And you'll feel your body too. Your body may have already shifted. Mine has already shifted. You may find that you may need a little bit more sleep right now. That's the thing, if, you are, if you're tired, take a rest, okay? Understand, if you are at work, we are going to make sure that the foods in which you are intaking will be able to help to sustain your energy levels throughout the day. So you do not get that two o'clock crash and where you have to go to, let's say, for instance, coffee. Okay, that's the other thing. Um, for myself, anyways, I'm doing absolutely no alcohol. I'm not doing any, um, no coffee. I don't drink coffee anyways. Um, no milk, no milk, no dairy, period, no dairy products. So, and that's for myself. This is, these are the things that I am doing. Give yourself that time to heal mind, body, and soul. Okay. It doesn't take a lot of time, but and it'll take a lot more time when you're, when you're in a hospital. Okay. Trust me when I tell you, um, I've seen both ends of that spectrum. So with that being said, you are speaking with Keisha Loop the holistic chef, holistic culinary nutritionist. If you have any further questions, comments, if you need any guidance, any one-on-one -on -one consultations, please feel free to contact me, DM me. My Nutrition Up meal service, check it out. It's on my website, okay? Uh, also, check out my feed the need for kids too being able to assist kids in eating um healthier and stuff like that that's on my website as well www.keishaluke.com check it up it should be put up there already the link okay um if there's any personal you know questions that you may have whether it's for myself like for you or anything to assist you a little bit further by all means please feel free to contact me okay I am open I am here throughout the time as well for the three weeks I'm not gonna lie to you there's going to be times where I'm like shit I don't want to get on here you know but I am going to make it my duty I will come on live a lot more just to give you all an update as to how I'm feeling the way I look you're gonna see you know things may come out on your skin you may see breakouts that is A-OK. -okay. Be gentle on yourself, okay? This is a gentle cleanse. It's not going to come and rip you out or anything like that. You're not going to be sitting on the toilet for days on end and nothing like that, okay? We're doing this um, gently. We are going step by step, day by day. Let's definitely help each other and help yourselves to be able to help each other, to be able to help humanity and the greater picture, okay? Using what Mother Nature has given us, our whole food nutrition, of course, uh, and our herbs and spices. So until next week, when we start on Monday, September 19th, have an amazing weekend. Whatever it is you want to do now, whatever it is that you want to eat, go for it. And this is probably the first time you're going to hear me say that. Um, and everything is going to be in balance, okay? So if you hop off that bandwagon, who gives a crap? get back on it it's all about you it's all about what you want okay don't feel guilty don't feel badly we are here to support each other so i hope that this has been informative for everybody and i hope everybody else is willing to take up the challenge with me until then mwah, have a happy thoughtful thursday get out there and you know what do something nice for yourself and also do something nice for somebody else okay even if it's a smile giving them great advice whatever it may be i send you all love and blessings till next week ciao